It's becoming sexy and cool to be green. Our challenge is to make sure it's not just a trend because all trends pass. And you know, there's nothing like a good crisis to get people to wake up and go, oh, I guess I better care about this. But does that mean we have to have a constant state of crisis to keep people alert and conscious? And my hope is that there's a movement building. There's a movement that's growing from and leveraging the crisis of our time. And I actually tell people that I think one of the greatest gifts of global climate change is it's forcing community. Because all of the things that are causing global climate change, like the petroleum complex that allows us to get food that's been shipped from 3,000 miles away, all of those systems are beginning to break down and will have to break down. I always tell people that the, one of the gifts of, sustain, um, of unsustainability is that it's unsustainable. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, it can't work anymore. And the process is like, the hard part is like, what breaks down, what falls apart, who dies, who suffers in the breaking down of that unsustainability. But the hidden gift is unsustainability is unsustainable. It can't last. So therefore, the hidden gift in the global climate change and in the oil crisis is that it's forcing community. Localized food systems are starting to spring up everywhere. My father lives in the middle of nowhere, Missouri, with old school farmers who forgot the old, old school way, which was to live with the land and the earth, and got lost in the old school way, which was this you know, revolution of chemicals and antibiotics and all these kind of things. And now, all of a sudden, all of these people in his community are starting to shift back to the traditional ways of farming with the earth. And we're talking about people who, you know, do not like people like me at all. <laughs> um, and, and just because they don't know me and they have a stereotype of me. But you know what I mean. Like the people like us, they got some issues with, but they're starting to go organic. They're starting to go local. So my prayer is that this crisis is going to, re is going to help us recreate community. Because when we're connected, we protect. When we're disconnected, we destroy. And uh, my prayer is that this crisis will cause, will force people to connect with the earth, with their communities, with one another. And that even if the trend and the coolness and the sexiness of being green leaves Hollywood and therefore leaves the tabloids, that it will have already taken root in such a way that people are starting to go, oh, I like this connection. I think I want to keep being this way.